Hello everyone, my name is Corazar, and welcome back to Sunless Sea. I'm here staring at this pulsating ship. This blorp, 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 blorp. <laughs> anyway, we just got back from the surface, and we now have a hold full of sunlight-filled mirror catch boxes. It is indeed very dangerous. Use. Bad idea. Very, very bad idea. So, let's see. We were going to go to Isle of Cats, and then drop these off, and then to the Conate, to kind of do this cycle again. And this episode might be a little more heavily edited than the previous ones, because I realize we're going to be doing kind of the same thing several times, i.e. this sort of loop of going from... wrong button. Going from the Command Canal to Isle of Cats, Con Shadow, and back. So... We're going to do this until our yearning burning hits 160 or more, and then we'll stop. Now, I will keep you on for a little while, at least, or I'll edit, or I'll make sure to edit in or leave in a particular bit of a story that, that happens on the surface. But I'm going to start with this delivering a letter thing. I'm going to get rid of this thing. I don't want to see it. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Sorry. I'm just tired of it being there, and we are not going to deliver that letter, so we are getting rid of it. Anyway, let's go ahead, and we are going to a launch. We're going to start chugging our way down to the Isle of Cats. We'll stop by the Melting Isles and see what we can get there. Probably just a board report. I'll also probably deal with this Jilly Fleur. Come here, Jilly Fleur. Would you care to... There we go. Boop. And one more should do it. Oh, no. Let's scoop it up. Got a supply. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to hide these guys for now. Makes it just a bit easier to see anything that could be up here in the corner of the screen. And I think I noted last episode that I had experimented with the full power. And I wanted to see if it would let me drop some more crew. Because we are burning through supplies at a frightening rate. So I might actually use this a few times and just try to get some more crew to, I guess, burn to death. I'm very nice. I'm a good captain. I'm the best captain. The best. Leave a good Yelp review. But yeah, I'll use it a couple times and see if we can get the flame out thing to happen here. Not this one, I guess. I do think I'm going to get the Avid Suppressor at some point, too. Because that would actually be handy for getting places quickly. But yeah, this is actual speed here. Real amounts of speed. The only thing faster would be the Fulgent Impeller, which is the most powerful engine in the game. I think engine power of 5,000 or something like that, but it also has a an efficiency of 50%, which is amazing. So here we are at the Mangrove College. Let's pull in and let's see what they have for us. Dock. Any shops here? No shops. Okay, we have someone who wants something with our submarine. Not really interested. What's this? Yeah, no, we'll skip that one too. And it looks like we have another place we could take a candle into, or a bunch of candles. So that could be for our next captain, I think. Let's get our port report. Nice. And supplies. Lots of them now. We can go beachcombing, we can gather supplies, we can eat, drink, and be merry. I don't think we'd be merry. We don't have much terror. Let's see what this person wants. There's a gentleman watching you rather closely. He may be mumbling to himself. The impolite investigator shakes your hand of extreme vigor. Good day, Captain. When do we leave port? Can your ship outrun the Khan's best? 
Not that you'll have to, but it'd be comforting to know that you could. Let's ignore his hint. Goodbye. He'll still be there for later. I don't think we want the passengers. That's another sort of long story. That So let's just go beachcombing. Let's see. Driftwood. Something glinting. Or a blob of goo. Something glinting. Just bottle glass, but we got a hundred fragment. Not too bad. All right. That should be everything. Let's roll. I think my engine sound got glitched there. It was running while we were still in port. And full power. Let's do it. I am pretty sure that doing full power is technically, I think, more efficient than not doing it, as long as you don't burn your ship out. So right now we're not really doing it safely. We want the suppressor for that. But since the fuel usage is dictated by your distance traveled and not by other factors, I'm pretty sure that's the case because it means less time spent with our lights on as well. But here we are at the Isle of Cats. Let's go ahead and see what this place has for us. Hopefully, lots of money. We do have a shop here. Not going to bother with that. Let's get our port report. Sure. Let's see. I don't care about red honey. Veils quality. You know what? While we're here, while we're here, we have a whole bunch of these. The I'm not quite sure what our actual veils stat is, since we do have these guys. I guess I could just remove them all. Let's take a look at our stats here. So our mirrors are 60, our veils are 53. How many secrets do we have? 24. Okay. And we could get one more. I think I'm just going to max out our veils for now, because we're going to be passing on half of our mirrors and half of our veils to our next captain. So there isn't much of a point to raising our iron, our pages, or our hearts. So let's just go ahead and we're going to talk to Maybe's daughter. Let's increase our veils. So yeah, just going to keep going for a while. I might save like, I don't know, maybe two secrets in case we need one for something, but then I'll just use it later. We have ten. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. We have two. Let's go ahead and put our officers back in place. There's our mascot. There you are. Chief engineers. Veils eight and fuel efficiency. Yes, we'll take you. Mirrors and pages, mirrors and veils. Let's do you. Let's see. Gunnery officer. Iron eight. Or iron and veils. Let's do you temporarily. And let's see your first officer, engineer, cook, and a surgeon. There we go. So 89 veils. Let's see what our chances are now. Quite a bit better. Like 20% ish, or maybe what was it? It was 37 before, so 16% more. Not too bad, actually. Okay, so we're going to lose some of these still. But we should, in theory, keep about half of them. And we did, looks like. We have four empty boxes. So we'll go buy four more. And, yeah, that'll be pretty nice. Something awaits you. Buy red honey. I don't recall who wants to buy this. I know there's some place we can sell a firkin of it, but not a vial. I think we want a firkin of it. Six hundred echo, wow. Yeah, and if it's just a vial, the firkin was worth, I think, six fifty, so not really a good deal, honestly. Let's go for a walk in the rose garden. I think we've already talked to her before. 
Yeah, we've done this one before, so I'm not going to read it for you. Yep. We got 10 Tales of Terror. It's pretty cool. All right, let's go off to the... Con Oops, wrong button again. Go off to the Conate. Con Shadow, at least. And we're going to pick up some Dark Drop Coffee, but mostly four more Mirror Catch boxes. I believe there's usually something lurking up here we can fight. I want to say the Alsaeus class Corvette can be found up here sometimes. But not today, I guess. Let's get our next barrel of fuel going, and we'll just hit the rocket button. Rocket! And there we go. We are here. That was quick. Right. Don't need a monster hunter. Stops. Let's see. We want four of you. There we go. And I think we want at least a few of these. You know what? Let's buy a bunch because it's pricier at the Cuban Canal. Let's buy like 10 more than we need. So 32. And what's our cargo looking like? 56. So about the same as before. Okay. Let's stop by the Con 8 then. The real Con 8. In Con's heart. And let's go and buy that coffee. I do love watching these little ventrials or whatever. Sort of blurb, 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 blurb. It's a very dynamic ship, unlike the first one. If you watch very, very closely, I'm not sure if you can see it in YouTube's compression, but the ships do very subtly sway side to side as they're in the water. Here we go, Khan's heart, left right quarter, and shops. See, I wanted to buy some dark drop coffee. Let's do it. What's here? Just the romantic literature? Okay. Twenty-seven. Okay. Let's go. Alright, well I'm going to keep doing the full power to the engines as we are on our way to the command canal. So if you see this number change up here, which hopefully it will, I would like to lose some crew, then you'll know that we hit our goal of, you know, very humanely losing crew. Very humanely. Okay, here we are. We're back finally. Let's go and see what we can get here. So we have 21 fuel. We need one more. We can, of course, get some surface gossip. Not too shabby. And let's go to the surface. All right. Let's go to Naples first, as usual. And go to Vienna. Revolution in the air. Okay. Deliver some coffee. All right. Again, 2160 echoes. Pretty good. Uh oh. And here we go. So, this is what happens after you've done the coffee runs a few times. The Cafe Frestel is a fire ravaged wreck. A hand lettered sign hangs from the blackened, twisted frame at the entrance door. Friends, respected clients, for months I have lived in the twin shadow of revolution and destitution. Each day their terrors have weighted my soul with lead. The fear of it has been too much to bear. Consequently, I have set my cafe afire. I regret the inconvenience. I wait at home for the police. Farewell. So, yep. So you can only do the coffee so many times before it runs out. Well, burns up, I guess. Let's go ahead and back to Naples. And we're going to buy some fuel here. 21 fuel. Let's buy another 10. 
There we go. How many supplies do we have? We have seven. Let's buy ten. So they're nice and cheap here. And let's go back to Avernus. Let's see, that will leave us with 20-ish. Yeah, that's good. Let's fill our box and see if we lose any Zailers. Or boxes, plural. Nope, okay. Didn't lose anybody. And let's go below. And we're back. So yes, that was the little storylet that I wanted to have you along for the ride for. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. Let's check up on our yearning burning, burning yearning, yearning burning. 90. So we're a little ahead of schedule, but I think we can squeak by with basically two more runs of this. Although it actually may be better to just buy a total of 16 boxes and do one single run. You know, let's just do that. That's probably the best way to do it because we'd be spending a lot of time and supplies and fuel doing the whole shuffle. Whereas for each box, we'll only lose 50. Let's see, we're doing 50 echoes per box if we sell them back. It's actually better. No, it's not better if we lose them at the Isle of Cats. But yeah, if we're spending, say, 15 fuel to get around here, it's probably more than 15, honestly. Then that's 150. That's three boxes worth. We got a bunch of supplies. That's a bunch more. So it probably evens out in the end. But in the interest of time, I think we'll at least just buy a bunch of boxes and fill them up and then get rid of them. So yeah, that's what we'll do. So I'll see you guys at the Isle of Cats, where we're going to see just how much money we can make. Money. Lots and lots of money. Alright, pulling in. I've been spamming this full power button and not had anything else happen. So, interesting. Sell our boxes. Kept one box, kept two boxes. I wish I'd remember where you were, so you have to keep scrolling around. And we kept four of our boxes again. Cool. So, yep, let's go, and we're going to launch. I've actually been turning my light off while I'm doing this. So let's go ahead, and we're going to full power. Although this is actually, I think. Hey, it's you. Neat. You don't stand a chance, yo. Just going to, uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Do you mind? Guess there isn't much point in, uh... There we go. The light does basically nothing here in the fog. Oh, you missed. You fool. Yeah, I have like three times as much hull as you almost. Maybe two and a half. Not sure why you're even bothering. But I can get some money for you, at least. And one more ought to do the trick. Night, night. Ah. There we go. Investigate the wreckage. Let's see what happens if the officer rescues her. Ah, we get 300 Echo instead of 100. Not bad. I like that. That's actually pretty good to know. Alright, back to full power. Once this barrel goes down. And... Bam, there we go. You do want to use your full power when your barrels are full because it only continues at maximum for about 60% of a barrel or until your barrel runs out. So if you do it like now, you're gonna crank your heat up for nothing basically. And here we are. Okay, very nice, very nice. 
Let's get our boxes. And let's just buy the eight more. There we go. Now, what's our cargo like? Plenty of space for fuel and things. So, whoops. Let's not buy supplies, but just buy fuel. So, 32 didn't quite get us where I wanted to be last time. So, let's buy, like, a few more. Give yourself plenty of room for other stuff if you wanted it, but I don't. So, yeah. Cool. Let's roll. And once again, I'm going to be spamming the full power. We don't need to stop for coffee because no one's going to buy it. We could technically buy coffee at 40 here and sell it. But well, I'm not sure if it sells for 50 in London, so what you buy it for. I'm not sure that it sells for 50 up there. Okay, so this should be the final trip to get sunlight. And of course, since I goofed <laughs> more than once up in London with these, with a blind bruiser and everything, we are having to do this in a much longer, more roundabout route that also just doesn't give us as much money. So we're actually not making, I think we're losing about half or so of the profits we would make. Like they're just that lucrative when you are, you know, keeping the boxes every time and you only have to have like a few boxes. Hello, what are you? Battle. Just chill here for a minute. Um, would you like to start targeting, please? Um, hello. There we go. Did I need to click you or something? That's a one. And... What have you got for us today? A cache of curiosities. A broken of prisoner's honey. Not too bad. We are still on track. So uh, let's roll. No, I'll wait till this runs out once again. And then I'll smash the button. There we go. Lights off. If you do this with your lights off, you're basically running at about normal terror progression, actually, as far as I understand. You could also probably, if you carefully time it, you could probably do full power at 100%. So right here. And then watch your heat up here and watch your fuel. Once your heat gets down to about normal, slam it again. Oop. That was me not paying attention to where I was going. <laughs> Whoopsie. Did I do that? As I was saying, let's do full power. And once we get down to about 50%, let's hit it again. Bam. So we'll keep our power up. There's something right there. Hello. We grab. Jilly Fleur. Uh, no. Not gonna bother. Yep, let's go do our last set of mirror catch boxes here. This should be pretty quick. Get surface gossip. Up we go. And let's see. We 17 fuel. Let's go get some fuel here. We don't want to go to Vienna. Nothing to do there. Buy 10 fuel. And buy 10 more fuel. Oops, I said buy 10 more fuel. We'll also buy 10 supplies because we are down to four. Might even buy 20 supplies, honestly. Oops, Ah. Okay, well, you know what? Uh, supplies. Goodbye. Uh, oop, um, there we go, that was weird. And that should be good for here. We had no news to share. Return to Avernus. Let's do it. We got 16 of these to go. And a lot of Zailers to maybe lose. 
Whew, there we go. So I am pretty sure we are cutting it pretty close. Okay, 26 fuel, 20 supplies. We are good. Let's check our journal. Where are we here on 182? Ooh, that's a little scary. We're not over 200 though, so we should be okay. Let's burn like crazy for Isle of Cats and get rid of these things. These are burning a hole in our hull pretty literally. Oh, there we go. Haha. -ha. Fire, you've pushed your engines too far too fast. Zaylor's scream, flames rage. Heal the wounded, damp the flames. Do what you can. A modest challenge. Okay. I'm not sure why the serpentine is what helps here below. Not sure what that is. We succeeded. We lost some hull. Okay. Gained a terror. Didn't lose any zailers. Okay, that's that's bad. <laughs> Let's keep doing it. I haven't learned my lesson yet. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right, I guess we'll stop. <laughs> I guess we'll stop. That was a that was two in quick succession after having basically none for quite some time. Like a really long while. I think I must have used it probably oh gosh, I don't know. Uh, 20 times in a row without issue. Put our light back on. Of course, the fog isn't going to do any favors for us. Well, I will see all of you in Isle of Cats unless something else unfortunate happens. But yeah, let's go get rich, and let's get richer by getting rid of these boxes, and then let's go back to London. Uh-oh. That's no good. The sun, the sun, you can resist no longer. Oof. Okay, that hurt a bit. Yep. That wasn't good. We have opened a box. We just couldn't, couldn't bear any longer. Let's hope that doesn't happen again. Oh, come on. Full power, we're doing it. We've got to go, because the worse, the worse that our score gets, the likelier it gets that we'll open that third box. And if we do, we are donezo. We are so donezo. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> that scared me. Okay. Uh, let's go into the nightmare. Sure. All right. We have one restful night left. Man, okay. I am nervous. <laughs> I am nervous as all get out right now. Get me there now, right now. I have, mm, hold my breath. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Ah, <laughs> we didn't make it guys. We didn't make it, <laughs> oh no. Oh, that's so bad. Ah. Okay. Well, that isn't the worst thing. That is not the worst thing in the world. <laughs> okay. A bleak dawn. It's over for now, but your first captain has died. Don't worry. These things happen. Explore boldly with your next captain. Choose a legacy to preserve something for your next captain. Let's go. Well. <laughs> Okay, we did not get the Book of Sharps or the Horizon Codex. Darn it. I really wanted those. Hmm. <laughs> now, we get two of these, I believe. Yes, okay. So, we can pick two. I wish it actually told you to yep, that you got two. Um, we're not keeping any weapons. We lost so much money in that. Oh well. 
Uh, not keeping the officer. Interesting. So our mirrors wasn't actually high enough to bother with raising it. Huh. Now why? Let's see. Oh, okay, I see. Interesting. So we're only really getting five veils from that. That's wild. And not really getting any mirrors. I'm a little disappointed. Yeah, we don't want to do that. We get more pages, which gets us more XP, but that's not worth it. You never want to bring across your map unless you die early on. So we're just going to take this legacy. Yep. Blink a blink. And we're here. Okay. So we don't need to do a past Wreaths and Shadows. We can choose a past. Let's see. Hearts. Mirrors. Iron. Poet. I do like the poet background. I think it's pretty good. Let's see. I think this would give us an extra, what, 25 veils? But I do like leveling up faster. Yeah, we, have, we have an awful lot of hearts. Oh, right, because we, we got the hearts book and the veils book. Okay. Right, I'm thinking we got hearts and mirrors. But mirrors is something else entirely. So, okay, we're actually pretty good, pretty well ahead of where we would be originally. So let's grab. Let's do it after philosopher. Yeah, there we go. We have a plausible surgeon. Hearts and pages and doctor aboard. Okay. We got 20 Echo, 25 Mirrors, a plausible surgeon, and someone is looking for passage. Ah, uh, let's see. Ah. Wealth. Wealth is kind of an easy one, so we're not going to do that one. Let's do... Let's stick with your father's bones again, since we didn't really complete that one. So we're going to find Kurazar's bones, apparently. Okay. Uh, let's see. We're going to do Lord. No, we'll do captain again. And who are you? Let's see. Let's be. Let's see, what were we before? We were this one before. <laughs> let's do this one and I was kind of thinking about a name earlier and we're going to go with Turazar <laughs> there we go <laughs> love it okay so we're going to see the gracious widow again now I've already read this one before so I'm not going to read all this again we need some Scintillac Okay. From Port Cecil or elsewhere to the Gracious Widow in London. I don't really need this. Let's see. We just need to go to Port Cornelian. We don't have to actually do anything. We already have a submarine. It just has to be applied to our ship. That's pretty cool. So we're going to remove the tutorial. And now we have access to the Labyrinth of Tigers, which is a place that I mentioned we can go. Hard up fry. Interesting. If we wanted a live specimen without having to do the trade of the utter shroom, we could get it here, but it is 500 echo. Whereas the utter shroom is basically 25 echoes. So usually better just do that. A passenger. Okay, agree to carry the anxious university student to Hunter's Keep. He has no money. So the other captains have no interest, but he's a passionate youth and promises that his studies on Lorne Flukes will be rewarding enough. Sure, why not? 
Interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Please take matters to keep right away. A lorn fluke. A full dead lorn fluke. Washed ashore. I'm doing my thesis on them. Do you know they can digest human memory? And I may never have a better chance to study one up close. All right. All right. Advice for captains. I don't really need this. Sell the book. Continue and London. Let's get the Gallivanter. Sure. They're a pretty good mascot. Is there anything to do here yet? I don't think so. Hire on crew? Not really. Offer passage to a tomb colonist. I'm not sure we did much of this, but let's go ahead and do that. We're going to vendor bite. Very nice. Can't carouse. We don't have a free evening. Hire more crew. Nah. However, we do have a lot of money. A lot of money. And we could, if we wanted to, we could start by buying, say, like the merchant cruiser. For most of our echoes. We could buy a tougher ship here. It's a little bit heavier. So it would cost more fuel and it would require more supplies to run. And it has the same hold space. So I'm not really a fan of this ship, honestly. I think it needs to have like 50 hold to really be worth it. So I think we're going to stick with the, the Lygia. And the Lampid class is just not great. Hold of 30, less hull. It is very light. And it has terrible iron. But it does have a forward weapon slot. I think, I think it might be a good idea to probably focus down the Clattery Air again, which should be the first officer we can get when we come back to London with a something awaits you. So let's do that. Let's, let's do our Hunter's Keep quest. Let's go up to Vendor Bite. We'll start off doing that kind of thing. We will, however, buy some supplies here. Is there anything I want to buy here? I think we can sell mushroom wine reasonably up in Vendor Bite, but I'm not really willing to uh, risk that at the moment. We could, of course, just start by doing coffee. We could just jump right into coffee, get all that done, and burn the place down, and call it a day. Of course, that would require larger hold, so maybe not. Let's see, we want the health rasher by you. On you go. And we'll sell that gun. That's Gonzo. Is there anything else I want for our ship? The compulsion. The crazy engine. Well, one of the crazy engines. I don't think we want a bigger engine yet. Of course, we have the 800 engine. This might be worth it. I don't, this one I think is not worth it, but this one could be. And we don't have an aft slot, do we? We do not, okay. So, in that case, let's do shops. Let's just buy the Stainrod Illyrian. We'll do that. Swap those out. And I always forget some shops. There you are, and we'll sell you. All right, I think we're good. We don't really need anything else. We could just buy, like, the Withered Optical for one more mirror. And you know what? Why not? Let's just do it. Done. <laughs> it's really not worth it to buy any bigger ones, because you lose bales then. Unless you spend a lot of money and you get whopping six mirrors for 6,000 echo, not really worth it. 
Well, that was a bit of a surprise ending for me. That was the first time I ever had that cascade of opening boxes. Man, we were <laughs> we were like 10 seconds from getting to the Isle of Cats. That is rough. That is so rough. And I'm kicking myself right now. But we have our new captain, Tourazar. I think we're going to call it there. And thank you for just burning one fuel. Very kind of you. Yeah, we're going to leave it there. And we are going to pick up next time with going to Hunter's Keep and to Vendor Bite. So thank you all for watching. As always, my name has been Kurazar. I said that backwards. But I will catch you all in the next one.